The recording has started. Perfect. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor manager meeting for Wednesday, November 1st. Online with me is uh, City Clerk Stephanie Carlisle, Deputy City Clerk Sarah Harkness, Mayor Pro Tem Stephen Ward, City Attorney Tamara Niles, and City Manager Sean Lewis. Sean, do you want to kick us off? You're on mute. Yep, thank you. Uh, we'll start with the November 6th study session. We have the 2023, September 2023 monthly financial report. We also have development impact fee uh, study session. Mm -hmm. A few recognition, a couple of recognitions. Uh, Finance Department for receiving the GFOA award, as well as the annual comprehensive financial report award. We have a proclamation on diabetes month. A motion to approve amendments to council policies. Amendment to contracts between city and historic Inglewood. Mm -hmm. We do have a question about consent there. Mm -hmm. In the contract. I don't have enough information. I would say yes to consent, but. But I can see it being pulled depending on what it is. Let's put it on consent. Steve, you can let me know whether or not we should just keep it off consent. Uh, did we lose Sean? Well, it looks like we did lose Sean. All right. Well, Steve, did you have a uh, Sean's back on? No, you you captured my thought. I agree. Okay. Let's leave it All on, right. and if somebody wants to pull it, they can. Cool. Okay. Uh, an ordinance repealing Inglewood Municipal Code um, regarding administrative appeal procedure. I may have marked that as no. This is the one that we may have talked about where we want to revert this back to municipal court. Right now I'm having to, my office is coordinating very expensive administrative hearing officers. Mm -hmm. Is is it okay for that to go on consent? No. That's okay. okay. Uh, amending Inglewood Municipal Code to provide consistency in council fee setting mechanisms and amendment to municipal code providing clear authority to council to establish fees to reimburse the city for facility usage requested services to individuals. Any questions there? No, but I put those both on consent last time around, Steve. I don't think you were there for that portion, but I can't recall. But anyway. Yeah, it's fine by me. And then November 13th, we have an executive session um, that's planned. Um, and Tamara, I didn't know, you and I haven't talked about this recently, but um, and Tim, the budget amendment for uh, implementation of the comp and class is on November 20th, right? 20th, yep. And so the, so for Tamara's and my contract amendments, we're already having an executive session. Would you mind if we added this to it? Yeah, that would be fine. Okay. And then November 20th, um, study session contract approval thresholds, PFAS settlement, Allen Water Treatment Plant bulk, bulk chemicals. Um, I'm assuming we can put that one on. That one's on consent every year, I think. Mm -hmm. um, budget supplemental number four. And that's the competent class. Recognition of Craig Hospital for being selected 2023 Forbes Small Business of the Year. Recognition of Kimberly Power from the Colorado Libraries Association. Uh, motion for optimal source professional service agreements for those substances, sampling, and infrastructure pilot projects. Professional con uh, service agreement renewals for on call engineering services. Um, IGA for those sample chemicals um, sampling. Now that's not an IGA, it's a CB. Is that a duplicate, Sarah? Um, no, I don't believe so. This is a second reading. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, uh, bill for an ordinance, McBroom Ditch Bylaws Revision, Denver Water Connect, Interconnect IGA, Tri Gulch IGA, South Inglewood Basin, second IGA amendment. Questions on November 20th? All I don't right. I think so. Okay. On November uh, 27th, we'll have council orientation and the October 2023 monthly financial report. What we had kind of hoped to do was make this um, this entire thing the council orientation. 
if that's all right with you all. And we'll then push the study session to early December. Is that what you're stating? Well, or just if or October monthly report could be done by the November 20th meeting, we would just add it to yeah. that. Just, okay. Just the orientation. Okay. That sounds good to me. All right, December 4th, um, resolution a lot, uh, establishing city council holiday uh, meeting schedule. Recognition of City Attorney Tamar Niles for receiving designation local government fellow by the International Municipal Lawyers Association. Student Art Calendar Artist Recognition. Bill of Rights Day Proclamation. Motion to approve contract with ADC West for our plan review. That's also the meeting where, where we will um, swear in newly elected council members and um, select the mayor and mayor pro tem. All right, thank you for that. Step Ooh, okay. And then December, yeah, and that's just because of the date that the county gave us for certification of the election, right? Yeah, actually, I was kind of surprised uh, by the date that it was going to take a week longer, but good to know. Cool. All right, December 11th, we have study sessions on um, cities existing social media policies, tree protection, and review and discussion of proposed attorney ethics manual. December 18th, we have presiding judge's salary, uh, associate judge reappointment. Uh, November, excuse me, January 8th, we have the November monthly financial report, budget supplemental number one, designation of official posting place for legal notices. January 16th, um, monthly financial, Hearing on a PUD for waste management site and just board and commission interviews. After Is that. that the right dates? Wouldn't the wouldn't we flip flop those? Um, the board and commission interviews being on the 16th, and because the 22nd would be the second council meeting. If I'm looking at this right. It would. Oh, wait, no, no, you're right. Hold on. Eight. So we would have it on the second. Actually, can you scroll back up, Sarah? Oh, so we don't have anything on the second right now. Are we planning on taking the second off then? Can you re can you remind me, Sean? I think that, yes, the second we were planning on being off, but. OK, so then the That's... eighth would be the first council meeting of the month. So I think I am right. So I think that we would have the interviews on the 16th. Am I wrong in that or no? Stephanie, Sarah, do you know? I don't so, know. Because the, um, because the schedule is potentially changed if council passes that resolution for the holiday schedule, mm -hmm. um, then we had to adjust where it would go. So we had to push it down because it would be a, re a regular meeting the 8th and then a regular meeting on Tuesday the 16th, the following week. So then the only time to do board and commission interviews would be that following week. OK, so we're going to have regular meetings back to back. Is what you're saying. Correct. It's okay. a day. Yeah, because the MLK holiday is on the 15th. OK. At least right, that I was my wanted... understanding. So Tamara, no, no, I, I, I just understand if that's incorrect. No, that's, that's fine, Stephanie. I just wanted to make sure. I, obviously, I was just going off the, the regular cadence of every other yep. week. For, this is definitely later than than usual because we like to have interviews appointments and recognition prior to them taking you know start, starting their term on the beginning mm -hmm. of february but the holiday schedule if that's what council decides would kind of push everything down a little bit okay so then we're still planning on having voting for the board and commission members the first week in february then or the first meeting in february yes correct Okay. All right. I just wanted to get clarity on that. Steve, do you have any questions regarding the scheduling for January? Nope. Okay. Cool. All right. I'm good with it. All right. I guess the one thing, actually, one thing I, we could stop there, Sean. One thing I, I should mention is, Steve, I won't be at the meeting on Monday night. Uh, I may not also, I, I may not be online either, just depending on how it shakes out. So I have a, trip to Houston on Monday. So you'll be you'll be in the mayor's seat. Got it. Thanks for the warning. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I um, I think we've already gotten all of the council yep. requests in the system. So. Yep. I think we're good. All right. Anything else from staff? I don't have anything. All right. Anything for you, Mayor Pro Tem? No, thank you. All right, everyone. I guess that will conclude today's mayor manager meeting. Everyone have a great day. You too. Thank right, you. Thank you. Everyone.